And the complexity of life is not just plain complexity, it's also adapted. Living things not only are complicated, but they do things, they survive. They do everything in their power to survive, and they look as though they are beautifully designed machines, machines designed to survive. But not all experts agree that the complexity of life could have come about by the accumulation of lots of lucky changes. And a growing number of dissenters are questioning Darwin's theory. Molecular biologist Dr. Michael Denton is a senior research fellow at the University of Otago in New Zealand. He claims Darwinism is a theory in crisis, which assumes the so-called fact of evolution yet cannot explain the supposed transformation of simple life forms into complex creatures by random processes. I don't think the Darwinian theory of evolution is anything like the established fact that many biologists claim. I call it the great uh, cosmological or cosmogenic myth of the 20th century. And that's a view I still, uh, still maintain. I think nothing uh, I've seen in the biological sciences, no advances in science that I've seen in the last 20 years, um, in any way have changed my mind in any way about that fundamental, that fundamental belief of mine that uh, Darwinism is an inadequate explanation. The information required for large-scale evolution can really not come from random mutations. Uh, the Darwinian model says that it does, but nobody has ever made a calculation to show that it does. I've made a calculation that shows that it doesn't. Professor Dawkins, can you give an example of a genetic mutation or an evolutionary process which can be seen to increase the information in the genome. If one were to believe the neo Darwinian account, uh, you would have to say that information is built up gradually in small steps. Uh, a little bit at a time. And if one examines the, the mathematics of this sort of thing happening, it turns out that one has to assume that at any stage in evolution that there are a large number of possible mutations that could occur that could be adaptive. And if there are a large number, we should be able to find some today. Uh, and the fact is that we don't. All the mutations that have been examined on a molecular level show that the organism has lost information and not gained it. The Genesis account of creation implies that virtually all genetic information existing today was present in the original kinds. So, great variation is possible within each kind, but one basic kind cannot change into another.